This is baby Isambard. He was badly burned by a cup of tea when he was just 13 months old. He's three now and has happily made a full recovery, but not all children are so lucky. If his wounds had become infected, he could have developed toxic shock syndrome, a potentially lethal condition. Now scientists at the University of Bath are developing a new dressing that will treat an infection before it can take hold. The idea is the brainchild of Dr Toby Jenkins, who is now collaborating with 11 research partners from Europe and Australia to produce the prototype dressing. The dressing will contain tiny capsules that release antibiotics when they come into contact with disease-causing bacteria. It will also change colour, acting as an early warning system that an infection is present. Disease-causing bacteria will secrete toxins which can then directly damage the cells in which, um, in, in which the bacteria may be interacting. We have decided we're going to use that natural mode of attack, if you like, by bacteria against them. Our dressing will only release the antimicrobial component if the wound becomes infected. This is very important for two reasons. One is it should prevent or slow down the evolution of bacterial resistance. And secondly, it should aid the wound's healing. Toby is now working with Dr Amber Young from the Southwest UK Paediatric Burn Centre based at French A Hospital in Bristol. She treats hundreds of children like Isambard every year, including Archie, who is just over one year old. He was injured yesterday, pulled a cup of tea over himself. He went to theatre last night. He's going to go home today with instructions that we give to all parents about whether to ring us up immediately if their child gets a temperature. If he does come back with a temperature, we'll have to assume that it is infection under the dressing and remove the dressing. If the dressing could actually treat the infection, we may not even need to see him back in hospital and would save him the journey, save him the hospital visit. The new £3.7 million project, funded by the European Commission, has already proved the concept in the lab and hopes to produce a prototype dressing in the next five years. If we can prevent or treat toxic shock before it gets a hold, which this dressing should be able to do, we can potentially save children's lives. <laughs>